every time you come around a corner, you see something different. It may be a giraffe standing there. It may be a Ninalo tucked into the bush looking at you. There were so many occasions where we would come around a corner and there would be an Inyala bull. And as you look at an Inyala bull after hunting them day after day, you start to notice that that one's not mature. This one's a young bull. That one, he's nice, he's fully mature, but he's not what you're looking for. When you find, and it can be Inyala, it could be a kudu, it could be any species, look at the age of the animal. And that determines yes or no, in my point of view. That if you find a Nyala out there, he could be 27 inches, but he's a young bull. Wait, you're gonna find the old one. Blunt, blunted off points gives you a good indi indication. Color of the animal, especially a Nyala, gray. A young bull has got bright, bright orange legs. Old bulls lose that orange. And that to me is just, it could be 27, it could be 30, it could be 25. At the end of the day, you've taken a fully matured animal that's over his prime. Now, hunting in Yala for me is exciting because as a species, it is typically one that you can get fairly close to. You're hunting in thick forests, in close proximity to both the males and the females, the bulls and the cows. And very often you're going to see young bulls. The young bulls, still reddish somewhat in color, with just not mature horn growth, will tend to let you get very close and take a good look at them. They don't seem to be aware. It's almost as though they know they're not sought after. But finding an old mature bull, that is the difficulty. That is the real trick to hunting in Yala. The old bulls are semi-territorial. Get a female on heat somewhere, they move. You can never go back and say, right, I saw a Nyala in one area today, won't see him there a week from now. Nyala, they're extremely, extremely vicious fighters. You look at a Nyala when you find him in the bush, he's standing, he's relaxed. It's a very docile animal. But when two bulls get together, it's normally a standoff. They lift all the hair. We call it, uh, they look like big tarantulas. And uh, it's a standoff and one will back away. But when the day comes that two bulls take each other on, one normally dies. The excitement in Zululand isn't limited to spiral horned antelope. While stalking Inyala, Rogers and P.H. Van Ruyen managed to have a close encounter of the elephant kind. Elephant in a hole in Southern Africa is overpopulated at a huge extent. Botswana, Zimbabwe, South Africa, uh, especially the Kruger National Park. There's a huge overpopulation of elephants. So the myth that's, that's established on elephant in a hole that's on the verge of extincting. It's really not true. My challenge with Leo was to find an old, mature trophy in Yala Bull. As we look at the SCI record book of trophy animals, we see that 30 inches is, is a magic number. It's about as good as it gets. There are times where you see a 25, 26, maybe 27 inch fully mature Nyala bull, and you think, that's him. But it's not, because professional hunters like Leo know that they can do better. They can find something even bigger. It's just a matter of time. We were driving along, and one of my trackers spotted a Nyala quite a ways off. Uh, we stopped. We glassed, we decided, wow, what a big nyala. 
The thing with most of your spiral horned animals is if you see him before he sees you, 99% of the time you will get a shot at him or at least get into a shooting position on him. Uh, we went in for the stalk, this Nyala was walking away from us continuously and it's not a good shot from behind. Um, we had the sun in our faces, we decided to get the wind right, lucky for us it was, it was out of the sun, it was quite, quite late in the afternoon. This Nyala went into some heavy, heavy, heavy brush. Uh, we had a marker, there was quite a big aphorbia that gave us a point, point of aim to where we saw him the last time. Leo and I would walk through this thorn scrub. We would make our way into the dense brush and hope to get within shooting range, but oftentimes you'll find that these spiral horn antelope live in and amongst this thick brush and all you can see is a leg or maybe a portion of a body. He knew about us, he headed for the thicket and I think he probably relied on his camouflage to where he went in because he never moved from there. And even when we came up to get into the shooting position, he was moving his ears to try and try and hear, but the wind was quite strong from the front and I think he, de he depended on his camouflage. You see him? Okay, Mike, that's the same bull. Right in here. Big mother, yeah. We just go in that direction. Yeah. The white Tamburti tree. Mm -hmm. Just to the, his ears are moving. Ah, there, 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 yeah. Move. Right, take it. Leo finally led me to a point where I had a shot at a trophy bull. Now I'd seen this trophy bull moving quickly through the brush and I knew he was exceptional. And I also knew just from looking at Leo that this was something he was excited about. Finally, I came up with my rifle and looked through the brush and got just enough of the body to take a good, clean, ethical shot. It's a great feeling to know that you've got one of the great species of Africa, that he's down and you've succeeded in that hunt. He went down. Let's just give him a second or two. The size of that Nyala, and there's a lot of hunters that hunted in Africa, and you talk about Nyala of that quality, of that age. I picked up my banners for about three, four seconds, and the decision was made. Now I've seen some guys like to yeah. rush in and push them. No, you know, and all these spiral horn animals, you know, especially bushbuck, and this is family, of course, you know, they, they can be dangerous, you know, and there's, with a shot like that, there's really no need to, right. you know, he went down hard and he's probably dead by now, we've given him two, three minutes. Let's so, go yeah. find him. Let's go and have a look. Great shot, mate. Great shot, Bona. Man, look at this Nyala. Yeah, I know, you got him right on the shoulder there. It was a little bit high, but you broke him. I mean, that's un just underneath the spine. All the vitals. Very, very good shooting. Beautiful animal. <coughs> that's just the perfect Nyala. Uh, sweeps out at the top. We saw him side on before he went into the thicket. Big backdrop on the horns. And there's no question about it. There's no, no double question on, on deciding that is the Nyala I want. Man, what an old animal. Old, old, old bull. Beautiful animal. See how dark his forehead is? Well, now some of them look a little darker. He's got a lot of gray. Is it yeah, because yeah, he's so because old? because of age. I mean, look at, look at the orange legs. They're not orange anymore. They're light, yeah. light yellow, you know. Almost white. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give him a year, year and a half, maybe two, pushing it. And uh, then it's over and done for him. So. Right. On my side, it's a great old animal. It's a trophy to take, um, age-wise, and uh, just yeah, beautiful and well done again. Leo Van Ryan, thank you very much. Very well done. Appreciate it. The kudu may be the grail of African hunting, but this 30-inch Nyala is pinnacle all its own. Kudu is the Hottentot name for the antelope. 